The Lord be with you. I'm Deacon Keith Fournier, and our first reading is taken from the book of the prophet Amos. On that day, I shall rebuild the tottering hut of David, make good the gaps in it, restore its ruins, and rebuild it as it was in the days of old, for them to be the master of what is left of Edom and of all the nations once called mine. Yahweh declares, and he will perform it. The days are coming, declares Yahweh, when the plowman will tread on the heels of the reaper and the treader of grapes on the heels of the sower of seed. And the mountains will run with new wine and the hills all flow with it. I shall restore the fortunes of my people Israel. They will rebuild the ruined cities and live in them. They will plant vineyards and drink their wine. They will lay out gardens and eat their produce. And I shall plant them in their own soil. And they will never be uprooted again from the country which I have given them, declares Yahweh, your God. And our response is taken from Psalm 85. His saving help is near for those who fear him. His glory will dwell in our land. Loyalty will spring up from the earth and justice will lean down from heaven. Yahweh will himself give prosperity and our soil will yield its harvest. Justice will walk before him, treading out a path. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Then John's disciples came to him and said, why is it that we and the Pharisees fast, but your disciples do not? And Jesus replied, surely the bridegroom's attendants cannot mourn as long as the bridegroom is still with them. But the time will come when the bridegroom is taken away from them and then they will fast. No one puts a piece of unshrunken cloth onto an old cloak because the patch pulls away from the cloak and the tear gets worse. Nor do people put new wine into old wine skins. Otherwise, the skins burst and the wine runs out and the skins are lost. No, they put new wine in fresh skins and both are preserved. The Gospel of the Lord.